And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for a crazy combo deck because it's meme tier Monday. We have infinite nightfall is what we're calling this one. So the point of this deck is to be able to play infinite Evershade stalkers. And so the because whenever you cast an Evershade stalker, you'll be able to create another copy of it in hand. So the way to do that is going to be with the help of Victor. Because when you have a leveled up Victor, it says your created cards cost one less. Okay, so now instead of costing two for Evershade Stalker, it's going to cost one. So we need to we need to uh, make that cost zero though. So really, what we need is we need two Victors in play. So we're going to have Victor with Splinter Soul that can summon an exact copy of an ally. So we have Victor in play. Then we Splinter when we need needs to be leveled up Victor. So we have leveled up Victor in play, and then we Splinter Soul the leveled up Victor. And now all of our created cards will cost two less. So whenever we play Evershade Stalker and it creates the copy, now those copies are going to cost two less. So we can continually play Evershade Stalkers. Now, of course, we can only go six wide. We can't just go, you know, infinite wide. So uh, even though we can only go six wide, we still have some good payoffs for this. First, we'll, we will have those two victors in play. And of course, every victors have augment. And any of our cards that have augment, every time we play a created card, grant them plus one plus zero. So we can make our victors. <clears throat> and if we have other things with augment in play, like Nandroid, that could be an elusive um, augment, those will just get infinitely big. So, you know, we could have, you know, like 30 power or, you know, however much, whatever we want to do um, for these augments. Next, we'll also um, hopefully have leveled up Nocturne in play. That's kind of another part of our combo. Like if so, if we have the two victors and a leveled up Nocturne in play, and we get the infinite Evershade Stalkers, then we can um, also not only give our things fearsome, but then also you know give the enemies minus one minus zero each time we play a unit. <clears throat> so they can't. So they won't be able to block, right? Because we'll just make all their their things zero power. We can make all you know. We can make our victors however big we want. They'll have fearsome. Their things will have zero power. Boom, one shot kill. So that's the point of the deck. So that's that's what we're gonna try to do. Now that seems like a pretty difficult combo to pull off. You know, having two leveled up victors and a leveled up nocturne in play, and then casting up um, infinite evershade stalkers. That's not gonna be easy to pull off. So we're going. You know, like that's why it's a meme tier deck. If this happens one time in the five games, I'm gonna be super super excited. Hopefully it does. Uh, besides that, the rest of our cards um, basically are, are helping level up our two champions. For Nocturne, we need to attack with five Nightfall allies. You know, we have some Nightfall allies with Onlooker, Evershade Stalker, and Doom Beast. And then we also have um, Unspeakable Horror that can create a Nightfall ally. And then, of course, we're going to have to play seven created cards for Victor. And so Evershade Stalker, again, we can play those earlier to just to help level up the Victor. But then, you know, our created card from Unspeakable Horror or a Terrative Improvement or the Ignitions from the Ballistic Bot, those, are, those will all be nice created cards for us. Besides that, we can rummage away some different stuff. Like if we have multiple Evershade Stalkers that we want to rummage away, we can. Or other created cards um, we have to, to help find our combo. We have some removal with Evershade Stalker, uh, Grasp, Withering, or sorry, with Aftershock, Grasp, Withering Whale. And then also one Rekindler that can maybe um, help us get two victors in play it won't be easy but if we have one if we have like we play victor they kill it uh then we play another victor and then on turn seven we can play rekindle or bring back a second victor so that, that won't be an easy way to get two victors but that's that's another way so we just have one rekindler in there too all right but anyway let's give it a try let's hopefully pull off the combo one time and uh that would be great so infinite nightfall yeah, that's true. We don't really necessarily need the Nocturnes, yeah, because you know, we'll still have like the Victors with the infinite augment, and, and if the Victors have good keywords, you know, they'll be able to do their thing. Alright, well we're playing against um, a great tier one deck to start with for our meme tier deck. We got, let's see, Ballistic Bond, Splinter Soul. I like the I mean I, I think I'm actually gonna kinda maybe keep like all this stuff, like maybe get rid of the rummage. Um, but I don't know. Rummage can get rid of other cards we don't really want. Let's let's just keep all these, right? Like, so Ballistic Bot makes the Ignition. We can Rummage away also to help find the combo. I'm thinking Nocturne here. We can use Nocturne with, like, the Vulnerable as, like, a removal spell for these champions. Nocturne can kill an Aphelios, for example. Flesh was weak, but look at me now. But if they do have Aphelios, it's just going to be really difficult for us 
to win. Because, you know, like, Aphelios does, like, the three damage to, to followers. Perfect amount of damage for these things. Clad in shining sunlight. Behold me, how hairless apes. Burn away now. Right, I'm just going to take the hit. Lots of credit cards. Bounce. Yeah. <clears throat> We're just not gonna be good against Hush. I don't I don't think I try to I don't think I just don't attack because of Hush. Ah, oh, I have a Philios. Ah, uh, GG's. They're not killing my ballistic bot. I'm happy about that. Cool keywords. Spell shield. Not a bad one. What else we got? Life steal. Okay. Okay. Not a bad one either. We definitely need to kill this Aphelios. If, we, if we're going to have any chance, we got to kill Aphelios. But they, they should just have grabbed the stun moon weapon. Lifesteal. Good. This plays around. This means they won't kill my Nocturne if they have. Um, which, maybe. So I'm thinking if I do that, they won't kill my Nocturne if they have uh, Pill Cascade. Maybe I just challenge it with the Victor. And just heal my Nexus for four. But still, I don't I don't mind having this onlooker in play to just block these three twos though. Yeah, like we, we gotta block three twos. I guess I can discard one splinter soul. Play that for the blocker. You cannot escape. This will be able to give me Nocturne back if they do if they play like a second Aphelios, we'll have another Nocturne. Again, Fury. Oh, 
Go on, Evershade Stalker. Ah, man, we're just one Evershade Stalker away from the combo. This is why some people were like, are you sure you need three Evershade Stalkers? And yes, yes, we want three Evershade Stalkers. Oh, we're that close. You have one Evershade Stalker weird, you know, combo off here. Or maybe not, because they... Ha! <laughs> wow, what a great... What a great spell shield. The worst hush of all time. <laughs> so it's an exact copy. I maybe need to hurry up and attack before this thing levels up. Yeah, maybe I should have just attacked before. Now, now they just made another moon weapon. Since I waited, what moon weapon did they have? Severum, so life steal. Yeah, I guess I gotta kill that. You must do better. Okay, Evershade Stalker, Evershade Stalker. Ooh, we got backup, Victor. Just gotta find an Evershade Stalker. Stalking Shadows would fit in our deck. Ingenious. Keep on hushing. Keep on hushing that thing. Once I stand papers, now faces, our goals are greater than petty violence. Celestial cards are so fair. So fair. Yeah, it's completely fair. Completely fair. Maybe, maybe some challenger. Fearsome. I can't. I just can't even cast it because I don't have the other victor. Um. All right. Guess we just do four. So if I try killing that, I don't get the Nightfall card. But, like, the... Mm, the Nightfall card could be Evershade Stalker, right? So, like, if I cast this right now, I may lose out on getting Evershade Stalker. Where if I if I wait, they get the super cool star chart. But, like, a, a super cool star chart doesn't hurt me that much, right? Like, I don't think a super cool star chart's that bad for me. Because I think I think we need to try to find Evershade. So I think I think we have to. What's in here? Um, I think we have to wait slow speed. Wait, you know, wait for this nightfall to be turned on. Um, 
Some scout. Stalker? No, oh, Dusk Rider. It's gonna be a big Dusk Rider. I guess I might as well play it right now. The, another good thing about like these round start created cards is it does make it really easy for us to turn on Nightfall. Yes. Let's go. All right. So we have Evershade Stalker. All right. Combos online. Come on. You are not cool, opponent. Not cool. So I can do 8 damage and put them down to 4. I need one more damage. I mean, it's like, I guess I have to Aftershock that thing. But do I want to Interative Improvement it? Or would I rather Interative Improvement the Messenger? Yeah, Fynx could... Yeah, that's true. Too, too elusive. It could grab. It could also just grab the Messenger. Also. Okay. All right, we'll go Fangs. The charger chases stars across the sky. So, like next turn, I'm gonna have ten mana. So, if I take Trickster, that takes away two Evershade Stalkers, right? So, I can only have three Evershade Stalkers and a Trickster, or I could have four Evershade Stalkers and a Messenger, um, or I could have five Stalkers if I take the Moon Silver. I think I'm gonna go messenger and four. Silk paint is just accidental art. Okay, they discarded a hush. A hush is a way for them to block one. Fifteen, exact fifteen damage. Well, we got to almost pull off our combo. We had the pieces in play. That was really close against, you know, Zoe Aphelios, like the best deck, you know, in the game. We were really close. It took it took a, you know, deal 15 damage type card. Okay. All right, same kind of matchup. I think I'm just going to mulligan all these cards. Okay, we got a bot to start with. Okay, no Nightfall card gained, but we do have the most important Nightfall card already in hand. Got rid of the Zoe. And I have an Aftershock that could kill an Aphelios.
probably should have just played the other Ballistic Bot first. I I was thinking that maybe I was going to play like Doom Beast here, like they play... Okay, yeah, so I'm not going to be able to have the chance to play Doom Beast. That's why I went with that, but... Now I'm just going to be going with the other bot. If you want to leave. That's some good options. What to do this turn? We chart our path by the stars. We're gonna need this four drop um, just even on the way back to you know just be a blocker for from open attack. Victor, where are you? Victor, yes. All right, where are you at? You're at three out of seven? Okay, we, we maybe, you know, like we have the tools here in our hand for Infinite Con with Victor, Splinter Soul, Evershade Stalker. <clears throat> but will we be able to pull it off or will, it, will they, you know, kill my Victor? Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. Join the glorious evolution. Spell shield is the best keyword to, to get. Spell shield to try to help protect my combo. It's the best keyword to get. Yep. We're saying please no obliterates. Spell shield. Scout. That's five. All right, I'm just gonna pass here. I don't, I don't, I really don't want them to attack. <laughs> so while they're not attacking, I'm going to go ahead and pass. <clears throat> Six. Terrative improvement. Can we we have some cool, cool cards to terrative improvement. You know, priestess. Like these are we got some good options. Yes, spell shield. All right, so we can go right now and infinite combo them, but we wouldn't really be able to kill them. I don't, I don't have like a way to like you know like these these things they can get a lot of power but they can block right like so so I could I could go for infinite combo right now but maybe it's best to wait Let's see what can I how much damage can I do? It depends if they have. It depends if they have hush. Yeah, they are. They're definitely seeming like they're keeping up hush. I'm just gonna play this normally with just one, some one mana Evershade stalkers.
I was thinking I was gonna like if they didn't make that block, I was like if I if they didn't make the block, I was gonna play the Doom Beast to have another blocker on my side. But since they did make the block, then um then you know I'm gonna grab the Solari Priestess. Then we can start off with the daybreak. Lame. Alright, Raiden Star is perfect. Go find another Victor. Or, you know, I guess even a Nocturne wouldn't be too bad. They just have so many answers to everything. They just have so many silences. It's just their whole deck is just, you know, hush, go grab Equinox, go grab all these these cards. Just <laughs> It's just so hard to make anything work. So I can play Nocturne and two Evershade Stalkers this turn. It takes the rails. It chases the messenger. So assuming they cast Hush on Nocturne, like that has to be Hush, and I, I don't know what my best play is against Hush. Could not attack with the bot, but then you know, like this block something else. Wow, no hush. No hush. What are they doing over here then? A bunch of nonsense. So I'm not gonna rummage this away anymore. You know, like they're at one. I'm gonna try to, you know, like we have aftershock, doom beast, that kind of stuff. Like next turn, I can go like rummage, and then doom beast. Star shaping obviously is the card that I don't want to see. Try this. Oh. That's too bad they had it. The Splinter Soul is going to be to, to copy Victor so that we can play infinite Shade Stalkers. But my opponent just keeps having the answers for everything. It's fun to play against decks that never run out of cards and have answers for everything. Those are fun decks to play against. Targon's a really enjoyable region to play against. Maybe it works this time. No more star shapings. Oh, no, they just got more of those. 
That's cool. Okay, they only have one Celestial in play as far as like the one mana board wipe. We can assume that three of this mana is going to be hushing the Nandroid. It's a very faith, very safe assumption. But I, I can just go all out with everything being fearsome. That's my plan. Two blockers. Even if they hush here, they only got two blockers. And I think that maybe we have it. Just one more mana left. Finally! Defeated a Targon deck. Played against that deck twice in a row. Alright, different deck, thankfully. Different deck. Twisted Fate. Alright, let's see. Get rid of the Onlooker. Like the other cards. So the thing is here is they're going to have all the elusives, right? They can kill us while we're trying to, like, set up our combo. And while, while we're spending time setting up our combo, they can kill kill us with a bunch of elusives. So I like the, you know, the Grass the Undying, the Unspeakable Horror. Those help. Um, they better not have just drawn suit up and have a two-mana suit up. <laughs> that would have been bad. Can you increase perfection? Once I set papers, now faces... Um, they're passing. I could, I could go for it with the kill and the fizz, but I like keeping this. I like keeping my mana, so I have you know more mana here for like these for these other created cards. Because of course, we need to get to seven created cards to level this victor up. Deal me in. All right, gold card does two to Victor. Probably means Mystic Shot. They're doing that. Yep. I'm gonna try this. They may be able to protect it. There are some zero mana cards. Oh, they had a one mana card. I should have just attacked first in general and see if they would have played this ignition. Can you improve perfection? A ticket to the gun show. I am superior life form. Well, you can't say that we won't have creative cards. Yeah, like, yeah, Poro Cannon would have worked. Yeah, like there's there's some zero mana cards they can play. Can you improve perfection? System upgrade. Rise, metal brethren. Hey, Zap. Need a hand? Can't say no to Fizz. Me. 
gonna go grasp the undying. Kill the Twisted Fate before it levels up. Okay, never mind. I was gonna say I, th I thought they were gonna go pick a card. I'm still going to. Those MKs are gonna wreck me. Now a three mana MK3. Can you improve perfection? Eight ticket to the gun show. No, Ballistic Bot's not the best you drop. I mean, it, it really, it's like, there's there's a lot of good, di like, different two drops, and so it, it kind of depends on what you want your deck to do. But it's, it's up there. It's, you know, like, one of the top five, top ten. It's, I don't think, I don't think there's any of, of them that are just specifically the best, though. All right, so this is the downside of having all Evershade Stalkers, I guess. We go, we go, we go. Good removal. Good. Uh, the the card that was awesome for them was that MK. The MK card was great, but then, you know, the, the Twisted Fate gold card plus... <clears throat> um, gold card plus Mystic Shot to take down Victor. Had good removal. I mean, the... 3-4 Boxtopus is the best 2-drop with Aphelios. But then there's also, like, Eye of the Dragon, which can do a ton of work. Like, there's there's some great 2-drops. Yeah, Sparklefly. There's times that Evershade Stalker can just win games and everything, too. So there's, there's not any of them that I would say is definitely the best. Yep, House Spider, Goat. Like, Curse Keeper does a ton of stuff. I like that block that's going to allow me to use my unspeakable horror to get rid of this ballistic bot so they don't get keep creating these ignitions. Maybe be able to give Dusk Rider overwhelm. This, of course, is 12 damage. Gotta play this. Grass the Undying. My best draw is Nocturne. Now they... There's definitely removal spells that would kill the Nocturne, but that's that's my best draw.
I don't really see this working out for me. Great hand. Great hand for them. GG's. Better than us. They had, you know, Fizz into, into Ballistic Bot and Twisted Fate with tons of sweet interaction. So, there you go. So, just Ash with PNC? Usually see, like, Ash with, like, Ezreal or something else. All right, let's keep our champions. Nocturne with, you know, this Nocturne could kill, um, could kill Ash if we need it to. Aha. Uh -huh. so it looks like we got like a Yeti deck or Poros. Probably Poros if they're drawing two. So Yetis, Poros, and Elnux. Flesh is a weakness we must shed. What do you know of shedding? Okay, I'm thinking Elnux. Yep. Thinking Elnux. Big Nux. So next turn I'm gonna have five, six, seven. Yeah, I wanna play this. I've licked my wounds too long. So I think next turn I go bot iterative improvement bot. Get it? Pause. In Very good. So I'm taking 9. So I take 13 if I don't block. One size their papers, now faces. Down to 7. Shield. <laughs> we need more mana. We need all these free cards to cost zero. There, I guess I, I really didn't need to give that vulnerable. What's what's their current plan? Like, what are they doing with all this mana? I don't know. We're just going to kind of attack and see what's up. So what's up, opponent? What do you got? <laughs> it's like going down to one against the ignition deck. Yes, of course. So, I think we have this. I think we got this. Ignition, aftershock, doom beast. Okay, gotta make some blocks. Uh, you can block there. You can block there. You can block there. You're kidding me. You're kidding me, right, Meow? Don't want to take any damage. Feels kind of lame killing them with Aftershock, doesn't it? Do we... Do we actually kill them with Aftershock? Yes, of course. 
Or do we try to do something else? We can at least get Victor to level up and we can see this cool animation. Kinda lame. I guess Doom Beast is less lame. And we got to see our Victor level up. Oh yeah, should I should I rummage both? No, that would have been mean. Rummage both aftershocks away. That would be mean. Victor. Okay, Victor Mirror. Let's, all right, let's let's try to get our combo. We came super close to getting the combo. Like, we, we had the entire combo online one of the games. Um, I guess we could just keep all this and go, like, Nightfall. No. We actually, I know we need Evershade Stalker for our combo, but I'm, I'm going to mulligan it away because we need all the other stuff first. It's, like, the, it's the very last piece that we would need. That card looks broken. Um, am I playing you, Nandroid? Yeah. Now there is no to stop. That's me. I, yeah, I definitely won't be able to play Nocturne this next turn, but obviously we don't really need Nocturne this next turn. So the thing about blocking with the on, you know, the onlooker is not as good, but the onlooker does help level up the nocturne. But we we did use it twice to level up nocturne al already, so that's not bad. Doing this to turn on the nightfall for nocturne. Perfect. So I was hoping. Yes, of course. Devotion through battle. Claws out. It's too bad they had that covered. Find my champions. Yes, of course. Energy core upgrade. What size that papers now faces? Back heretic. So that'll give Victor three health for aftershock. We found a victor. And good thing they're so their victor still has vulnerable. Another brilliant design. Prime and ready. No materials, no improvements. Hurt, hurt, hurt. 
So with this, if they use removal, they they just kill the Evershade Stalker that was the copy. Now, I guess the, the thing here is this does open up Mystic Shot, right? Like where if I if I attack with the 2-3, uh, Mystic Shot wouldn't um, wouldn't save the victor. Of course they have Mystic Shot. Can you improve perfection? Join me if you want to live. System upgrade. Safety disengaged. Can we finally kill this thing? Finally. Okay, so this is only created card number four. We're just really glad no Aphelios, right? Like, Aphelios just kind of, you know, like, I'm really glad no Aphelios. Comet, not bad. I, you know, Falling Comet's gonna be good against like their Victor or Aphelios. Um, but I could also just take the Traveler and, and keep going. This journey is a discovery. Yep. Shield? Elusive. Okay, so this makes our created cards cost one less. So let's see, I'm going to have 10 mana next turn. Now Nocturne's leveled up. Fortunately, Sargon decks just have answers to everything. <laughs> We're gonna have Permastun Traveler. Now how the three damage to something, so they're gonna do three damage to the Nandroid. Oh, now they give that overwhelm. Uh, man, we are so close. We just need like a little bit more. T man, we are so close. Oh man, one mana short. 
One mana short. Oh, I guess I think I forgot the plus one. Never mind. So not even. Yeah. Well, it's too bad. I don't know why they didn't attack with the other things. But I guess I'm, I'm not quite dead yet. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why those other, other two things didn't attack. Okay. Still don't, still don't know why they didn't, didn't attack. So we came really close a few times to pulling off the combo. Closer, you know, even closer than I thought. And honestly, it looked it looked easier to pull off the combo than what I imagined. Because really all we needed was like Victor plus Splinter Soul plus Evershade Stalker. Really, if we just have those three, um, then we're going to have the infinite combo. And, uh, you know, we just have to have like the Ignitions and other stuff to be able to level up the Victor. But leveling up the Victor wasn't really the hard part. Unfortunately, we just kept on playing against Targon decks, like these Aphelios decks that just have the, you know, like every kind of answer you could have. So, you know, like we, you know, we weren't able to really uh, do too much with it because, you know, those decks are, are pretty broken. But, um, yeah, that's that's why our deck's a meme tier deck, right? It's That's why it's, it's a meme tier deck and not just, uh, you know, a top tier deck or anything like that. Um, so... Uh, but yeah, it, it was still it was still you know pretty pretty successful I'd have to say. So that's that's not too difficult to pull off. Victor plus Splinter Soul plus um, Evershade Stalker really didn't seem that difficult to pull off. You know, with the Nocturne uh, does make everything like you know unblockable and and uh, you know like so there there is that. But um, still pretty good, pretty good deck here, and uh, good good meme tier deck with a, a sweet combo. That's all you can ask for. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. Hopefully y'all enjoyed these games here with Infinite Nightfall. Um, yeah, leave those comments. Let me know about it. What, do you, what other kind of decks you want to see next week on Meme Tier Monday? Love to hear those suggestions as well. All right, but that's all I got here for this one. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.